So what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Eat Creeks Outdoors. Today, I'm just at the house. Had to work some today. Me and my brother just got our boat out, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. We're getting it cleaned up so we can go fishing this spring and summer. First, for dinner tonight, my dad smoked a pork butt and it looks amazing. Comes the bone, oh, off the bone. So we got a little banana bread and then some like orange pineapple juice here. I'm acting like I'm on a beach somewhere instead of quarantine at home. You guys can see here, it's our beautiful boat. Andrew's currently sailing the seas on. Yeah, what's up? Getting her cleaned up. She's gonna be looking good. So I can slay some Mondo fish. So I'm not sure what's going on with those pallets. I think my dad's building some sort of compost thing for my mom or something, compost bin or something. But just thought I'd show that this is what's going on at the house today. We're just showing what's going on. You guys can see here I'm inside the helm. And let me just give you guys a little t quick tour. So in the front, we got right here the, uh, I don't know what this chair is called. We got the captain's chair back there, but I don't know what this is called. We got a little platform up here that I can fish off of, you know, look out over the sea. Then we got a little bench. This stuff right here, this is like some plywood covered in turf stuff. Probably gonna have to redo at some point because it's sloping down a little bit. Then in the back, we got the captain's chair. A little bench there. We got our trolling motor on here. Minn Kota. And then we got a 99 Johnson on it. It's pretty much the tour. So guys, I just found the flare gun for this bad boy, and let me tell you, like, I don't want to have to shoot one of these, like, because that means you're in trouble, but it does look kind of cool to shoot, like, I don't know why, but that thing, it just looks fun to shoot. Like, I've never seen a flare gun shoot, and I just feel like it would be so awesome to just shoot a flare in the air, but hopefully we never have to use that. We've got the boat cleaned up a little bit now. Still some stuff we need to do to it. I need to fix the flooring on it, definitely. I need to seal it. And I think I'm gonna put a, another layer on this. It's warping down here. It's kind of stained and gross. So definitely need to fix this bad boy up a little bit. But I think it's just cool just to have a little boat. I don't have any big boat, a big boat or anything. Just have a nice little boat that you can take around and just go fish and stuff when you're a young kid, like myself. But I realized that I filmed a lot of videos at my house, but I've never showed you guys around. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the farm of E. Creeks Outdoors, the estate here today. So, like I said, there's the boat. You know, we got all of our cars, everything over here. This is my house right here. If you guys a good look, my mom's got some flowers out there. So we have a farmhouse, dogs, everything, picket fence in the front. This right here is, that is our pole building where we keep a lot of just lawnmower, four-wheeler, all the supplies and everything. It's a pretty big building. Um, there's a lot in that end. There's a lot of junk in there, which we need to clean out one day. Also, a farmer keeps his combine in there. This we just had put in. It's a nice little patio right here with a fireplace. Come out here with my friends. We'll play some music and just chill out here. These chairs right here are like the most comfortable chairs in the entire world. They lean back, I can just let my hair flow out. And we take the yellow brick road here, which I got the fish flops on. Need to get some new ones, but iconic right there. So we take this over here, and this is where some cool stuff is. This is actually my dad's buddy's camper. We're really close friends with, he keeps it down here. Um, so when he comes down to hunt, and all of his buddies come down to hunt for like deer season, deer camp, all that stuff, we stay in there, and then he lets us use it. So I'll show you guys the inside of that real quick. Now one cool thing is he lets us use it, so we'll come out here with my buddies and stuff and just, we'll turn the radio on. It's a little TV up there that actually works if you put a DVD in there or a VCR. But yeah, we'll come out here in the winter, summer, whatever, and it's hooked up to air and, or electricity and everything so we can put heat on. It has propane uh, for heat and lights and everything so that's really cool we like to come in here with our buddies after that guys right here this is just a little 
house thing. We gotta, we're gonna put a new roof on it soon. And here is our barn. Now this is like a really exciting thing, I think. We have this huge barn on our property because our property used to be, it used to be like a huge farm. And as you can see, this barn, you can't even tell, it's just a massive barn. Really right now it doesn't get used. We keep some stuff in there. Has a lot of like stuff growing on the side there. It doesn't really get used right now. There's a lot of problems with it. Here's the other side of it. This here. And then you can see kind of the entirety of the barn over here. It is just like really big. Once you get inside, you can see just how big it is. Two silos. And definitely we don't really use it for a lot right now. But I have big dreams one day to fix this entire thing up. It's going to cost a ton of money. So I'm going to have to get some money first. I'm going to have to be successful. You guys need to... Hit the like button and subscribe down below to get me give me that YouTube dollar so we can get monetized here. But one day I definitely want to fix this thing up. I think it would be sweet if we had this thing like all fixed up and nice on the inside floors. And you know you could th have parties out here. Chill out here. Maybe you could put some rooms in there. Just I think just a like modernized barn with actual like rooms and stuff in it would be like the coolest thing ever. It would just cost you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars though to fix it up because it's just all so old. I'm sure the paint on it, you'd have to strip everything off, fix all the rock, all of the, just everything. Oh, just such a list of stuff you would have to fix and it would just cost so much money. But one day, I think we're gonna be able to do it. We just gotta keep working and uh, big dreams, right? This is the other side of the barn right here. You can see some of our old picnic tables really messy in here the cool thing about this barn is we used to explore this me and my brother and our friends when we were little kids there is so many cool stuff just in a barn like you can see there's holes in the roof and stuff oh there's so much money to fix all this i think one day if i ever made a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of money this is what i would fix and you guys are invited to the party if I ever do. Like I was saying, the cool thing about barns is there's so many cool stuff about them. There's like hidden like doors and like hidden rooms and all these different little sections that you really don't even know are there until you really explore them. Like just back here, there's like this little hidden ladder back there. There's a hatch in the door that you can go up through. If you go over this way a little bit. So like, if you go back this thing here, I'm not sure what this was. I wish I knew about my barn. My brother was just saying the other day, it would be cool to see it like actually when it was working. You can see there's another ladder there. You can get up to the next level through those beams up there actually. There's another room right behind that wall where you can get upstairs as well. Just crazy. We would explore this when we were little kids all the time. It's a pretty cool spot. One day, that's the dream to fix that thing up. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should show you guys. I think I've pretty much showed you everything on the farm. And uh, we have like 36 acres, so pretty cool to get to live out here. Tons of field and stuff to roam through. And one of my best friends lives right next door to me, Bradley. You guys have seen him on videos before. Just saw him today, loading those pallets. So we both live out in the country. We ride four-wheelers everywhere, do all sorts of cool stuff. If you guys grew up in the country or grow up in the country, drop a comment down below. It's the hardest part. Got the boat here put away for now. Um, I'm going to clean the outside tomorrow. Moved it in with the four-wheeler. Still working on my backup skills a little bit with a trailer. They're definitely getting better, so that's a good sign. If anyone who's ever backed up a trailer at first knows, it's a little tricky, especially when you have a shorter trailer. It's really hard. Longer, the better. So that's we just got the boat done, clean the inside out. Still could use a little bit of work on the rugs and stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to clean the outside. I think that's all I have for you guys today. Just a short little video, me showing you guys around a little bit, showing you guys the boat that we're getting cleaned up. Definitely going to be making a lot of videos on that, doing a lot of fishing. Just a lot of having fun out on the water. I was already thinking of some cool ideas we can do. I'm going to try to get that in the water this week just to test it out. and Maybe do a little bit of fishing this week. we got to make sure the motor and the trolling motors, all everything's running good. 
So I want to thank you guys for watching. I like making these little videos like this. And let me know what you guys are doing this time of year. Spring weather, super nice. I know the quarantine's going on, but still we can get outside and have a lot of fun. So let me know, guys. I'll see you guys next time another episode of Eat Creeks Outdoors. Make sure to keep doing fun things. Keep looking for another adventure. And keep being outdoors. Keep living adventure style. Peace, guys.